Hey everyone, Kyle once again, aka Jurassic Godzilla fan. Welcome back to another review, and on to the next Disney film, which is another Disney film that I really do enjoy. I put it, also put it on my top list of Disney films. <clears throat> so the next one I'm reviewing is Monsters, the classic one, Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. released November second, year two thousand one. And uh, and at the time it was um it was like the fourth or third highest grossing film of the year two thousand one. Made over made over um five hundred and sixty two million worldwide on a budget of one hundred and fifteen million. Very successful. Um the film and the, the film stars um the voices of John Goodman. Um, as James Sullivan and Billy Crystal as Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Among other voice casts, you have Steve Buscemi as um, Randall, um, Jennifer Jennifer Tilly as um, Sheila, but um, but uh, what Mike calls her Schmoozy Poo, you know. <laughs> um, and then you have uh, and then you have James James Coburn. James Coburn as Water, as Mr. Waternoose, the guy who was in charge of Mos of the company of Mars Monsters Inc. Um, so um, and also so and also in the in the year in this year in 2013, the um like 12 years after this film came out, finally came out with another movie called Monsters University, which was a prequel prequel to this film, which took place when the both of them were in you know. You know, they went. They went to the university, uh, college, college university, and this film guy who uh, renewedly praised um, has a ninety six percent, ninety six percent of Rotten Tomatoes, is an eight point on oh, an IMDb, which is which I think is great. Um, into uh, December December nineteenth, two thousand twelve, this film got re got re released, in in three D. And it didn't it didn't fairly do that well Sally, when it was it was re release open it open with its, with its re release it opened at number eight made over like thirty four million in the United States because because of the time you know because um year in the year two thousand in year two thousand eleven you know September two thousand eleven they re they re released the Lion King which I thought was really, I was really happy about I still I enjoy that scene on the big screen again. Well, not again. I never, I never saw the first film when it was theaters. I was way too young back then, so <laughs> didn't mean to say again. So, but I did enjoy that film, seeing it for the first time on the big screen and its re-release, and it was very successful. So then, that's when Disney they said they're going to re-release some other, some other uh, good Disney films uh, in the recent theaters. In January 2012, they really re-released Beauty and the Beast, and then. Um, and then it's in and then, and then September they really and then September 2012 they re re released Finding Nemo. And then then in the December 2012 they released this, which all three all the three of those Disney films released that year was then was in did was under with did underperform underperformance you know in in making money so. So since this is since, since the re release of uh, films that didn't do that do that well on its re release in 3D. Originally this year in 2013, they were gonna in September they were gonna re-release The Little Mermaid, but since um, these uh, the, the three D D Disney films didn't do that well in re-release, so they canceled it, which is sad. I would like I would love to see the The Little Mermaid uh, re-release in theaters. So yeah, but I still I but I saw uh, but I I, saw, I enjoyed the film. I saw the um. For the first time seeing it, I didn't see this film in theaters. Uh, sadly, in year two thousand one. Um, no, I, I do. I do. I remember. I did. I think I might have. I, I honestly don't remember. I might have, or I might have not. But seeing the re-release, and though I saw, I saw the re-release in the theaters, and I enjoyed seeing it on the big screen too. Um, so getting, so getting, so getting into the the bottom. In the Monsters Universe, which is the Monsters Universe, is where it's a, it's like another dimension, uh, no, like another dimension from between that between their world and the human world, you know. Um, where the universe in the, in the Monsters world, they 
they, you know, they have this whole uh, power thing, you know, the power, um, they use the power that their, their, uh, of their, of their whole monster world lies on, you know, uh, power, powered by the screams of children, which Monster Inc. does, they use the, the big scary monsters and they scare children, you know, to keep the power going throughout the, you know, their, throughout their monster world, you know. And the, in the fact, the factory where they, they where Mike and uh, Sully work, and the guy in charge is Mr. Water Noose, by, voiced by James Colburn. Rest in peace, Jason James Colburn. Um, and the way they, well, when he, uh, Mike, he's, he he works behind you know, getting the stuff ready, and the, the factory and Sully, among other uh, big mo fierce monsters, they go in and. Scare scared children to power up in the cancer to get their screams in the con in containers, you know. Um, then he has like has he has a, then he has a rival, um, Ra um, Randall. Randall, played voiced by Steve Buscemi, um, Buscemi, who who's like he's like he's like, like, like kind of like a salamander. He he camouflages himself. That's what makes him scary. He camouflages himself. Um. So, and, but the, but uh, but also uh, also the, the although they do scare children, they also like to share our fear, you know, because they're thinking thinking that children are dangerous, you know, they're very uh, toxic, you know, they touch them, they'll die, you know, they have that kind of fear, you know. So, so so the things you know, where they go to the um, uh, Sully and Mike, they uh, they um, they go to work and they get um, they they get to, to the scare floor. And they bring they get they get doors down that comes from 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 upper from a hangar up up upper hangar. Um, then they start then they start uh, going and start scaring kids, power, uh, filling up containers, and also there's like a little point count up on 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 the screen up there. And Mike is in uh, oh no, Sully is in first place, and Randall's in second, and Randall wants to be the first per to be the scariest monster. Um. But he, but he's not getting any, you know. And he's really angry about that, you know. Um, and then, and then there's one point where another um, monster companion uh, named George, he gets like a uh, one of us, one of the socks, one of the kids' uh, socks stuck on him, and the can the, the, the contamination crew, the CDA, is called in. You know, they they take a sock and they put in this little thing. You know, the thing is going to cause it to make it to explode and poof. And they shave the guy's fur off, you know. And Water News to propose, you know, he had his, um, well, uh, stuff to do. We could have a little ch chat with, with Sully, you know, tell them that, um, they're then give a, give a scare demonstration. He accepts. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Um,. Um, then, um, and then, uh, Mike was, um, getting ready to go on a, a date with her, with his girlfriend, with, with his girlfriend, and he forgets to turn, to turn his, uh, paperwork, but, um, but, uh, the Sully said he'll take care of it, and he'll go have a good time, you know, so he goes back to the floor to get the papers, and he sees, and he sees a door, a white door with, with some pink flowers on there. He opens the door, there's nobody in there. Wonder because one of those a worker working late, so he closed in. And there's someone touching his tail. It's a little girl, a little girl that she, uh, Sully later names her names her Boo, because she says Boo a lot. So when he first sees her, he gets he's he's scared of her. Uh, tries to put her back in the room, doesn't work, and then um gets tangled up in a couple of her toys. Runs into the locker room, tries to flush it down, but it gets clogged. It sticks in a locker. Uh, and then anyway, as he as he turns his back, the little girl is on him, and he screams again, and and you see the the big monster running away from a little child, and he goes, eh. he's, he's saying, kitty, kitty, <laughs> um, stuffs her in a bag, and he tries to go take her back to the door, but Randall Randall is there, and doesn't want to get boy getting caught, so but he sends the door back up to the um the the door room, um. So he goes goes to the re goes to the restaurant where uh, Mike is at and tries to tell her there's a child in there and everything and this child escapes from the bag and everything 
everything goes wrong. Everybody panics, and his my ex girlfriend gets injured. Um, and the whole place got contaminated, and the new and the news is spread all over the town, you know. And they she had they keep they keeping the girl in inside of um uh, a, uh Sullivan's place, Mike and Sullivan's place, and trying to trying to avoid her and. Uh, who uh, sneezes on Mike, and he 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 sneezes, and he panics, he sprays his stuff on his eye, and he's like, ah, you know. <laughs> I always thought that was funny. He just sprays his eye, and he screams like that, ah. <laughs> and then you get my James uh, Sullivan gets a uh, little teddy bear, sort of like a teddy bear, a one-eyed teddy bear. Uh, Mike grabs it from her, and she starts crying, and the the lights begin to begin to flicker on and off because of her because because of, of her cries, you know. Um, try, then, uh, Mike just uh, tries to take, uh, tries to take, take it from again, but he trips and, uh, gets stuffed in a garbage can, books in his mouth, and a stairwell falls on top of him, and she starts laughing, she starts laughing, and the whole, the entire city is, put, is gets put on the blink, all the lights go out, because laughter is much more powerful than scream, as, as you can see, and they're like, what was that? So, so later, later in the night, they're just, they're just Mike's trying to figure out what to do, and and Sullivan's worried because he said, "Well, what's gonna happen?" You know, um, she gets she gets tired, so she so she gets she so she goes on to sleep in um, uh, Sullivan's bed, and he was gonna walk out, but then she starts pointing to the closet, and she has a uh, pull, uh shows uh, Sullivan a picture of Randall, which that's the monster that she's really afraid of. <laughs> So he decided to sleep. So he decided to stay in the room with her, sleep for the night. And then, and the next morning, they get, he gets an idea to like um, put make a makeshift monster, a little monster costume from from um, chair. And they get to get, they get back to the factory, and there's contamination people all over the place. That <laughs> so she slips slips through his hand and he'll walk, uh, approaches uh, Mr. Waternoose, and. It's, and he says, "Oh, and he's like, oh, it's, it's bring your um, sister's uh, uh, cousin along, you know." It's like, oh, must have missed the memo. <laughs> um, so they go, they go to the back of the locker room, and then Mike said he'll go back. Mike said he'll go and get the kid's car key. Um, and uh, little uh, Boo has to go to the bathroom, so someone's waiting outside the stalls. Um, he, he, pee, he takes a peek, and then he's like, she's gone, though, but then she goes and pops up from the other stalls and says, boo, you know, Play, playing a little hide-and-seek game, and she hides into the stall, and he, then she's not there, and she goes from another stall, and goes, boo, and someone's like, hey, you're good. <laughs> um, uh, then, uh, Mike, Mike, um, uh, tries to get a car, a car key from him. I know from another employee, uh, a, sna uh, like a slug creature named uh, by the name of uh, Roz, who works there behind the desk. You know, like was complaining about his paperwork that, that earlier. Uh, um, does it uh, debate? She says you still didn't turn your paperwork in the office now closed and it shuts the shuts the um, the door on the, the you know the, the the metal door on Mike's finger and screams. But then um, the, um, the, he, he returns to the bathroom and they hear Randall come in, so they hide in the stall. Boo's afraid of her. Is, is, a, is afraid of her. Um, Randall, the things they heard something started hitting. I don't open the doors and his um, co-worker sh showing him the paper. You know, um, he's like, well, "Who? How do I find out who did it?" Till they're they're dead. Um, Michael and my, my and Michael that um gets a a fake card but you know that's the wrong one tells her it's the wrong, it's the her, her door is white with flowers, um. Um. Oh, 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 what happens next? Um. Oh crap! I forgot what happened next after that. Uh. Oh, um, co-workers are, um, are listening, you know, start to sing, you know, deep one getting caught, um, Rand Randall is talking, it's like, oh, you know, pretty crazy, huh? Um, he, 
He uh, and then and then uh, once again, uh, Boo slips through um, Sullivan's fingers and starts uh, going after them. And Mike creates a distraction, distract to Randall. But then he sees in the newspaper or he sees uh, Mike's Mike in uh, like in a far a far shot in the picture. T- and and uh, caught it, catches him and then tells him, you know, bring the kid, you know, at, during lunchtime. Um, and 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 while um, while um um. Solomon's looking for Boo, a, a part of the costume, with like a makeshift, a, a, a homemade eye, is put in the trash can, but, the, but Boo walks away, though, but Solomon thinks that the, the kid is in the trash, and it gets put in the, in the garbage disposal, a garbage crusher, and he's seeing, he's seeing, well, it's the different things that's pounding and crushing, so he's like, he starts fainting a lot of times, like three, it was three times he starts fainting, sees again, he's like, ooh, ooh you know, and he sees, you know, put on the conveyor belt, he's like, uh, he falls back. <laughs> uh, um, they, they get the, the, but they but um they they get Boo back and then, but he said that but Mike said that Ran, uh, just like Rand, what, what Randall said and Sullivan doesn't doesn't trust Randall at all though so he knows that something is wrong but um, Mike. Um, Says the proof proves wrong, but he goes he goes in in Boo's room and starts jumping on the bed. But then he puts it there. The box gets put over him. Um, then they they follow Randall to a secret um to a secret room, and he gets he gets thrown in the chair and and, and restrained. And and Randall has his machine called the uh, Scream Scream Extractor. That's with with this, you don't need to keep on scaring kids. You just need to kidnap kids, you know, just to scrap them out and scream all the scream, extract all the scream out of them. Trey, he so he tried to do it with the mic, but the machine was shut off and it was unplugged by Sullivan. Um, he takes um his uh co-worker Randall's Corgan. He starts to get strapped in the chair and he gets the voice sucked out of him. Um. They, 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 they thought they were going to leave, but um, Sullivan thought it would be a good idea to go to Mr. Warner's for help. Um, told him that, uh, oh, good, you're here for the demonstration. And tells him to give him the best scream, and then he does, but then it ends up scaring Boo, and she becomes afraid of her about seeing his picture on, on the video cameras. The the mean face, you know. Um, but then while Mr. Warner sees the child and tells him, you know, she, you know, she knew she would come to this, you know. And he, he thought they thought they were going to get her a door, but it was a metal door. It was a flight to the north, um, <clears throat> to the Himalayas, but turns out that Warner's was working with Randall and pushes him out, and they get banished. And Mike was very angry. He did not let that soul and did not listen to him, you know. they He pushes him down to the slope, and they run to the abominable snowman. Welcome to the Himalayas! <laughs> he was also a monster that got banished there. That's how they call him. That's what people call him, the abominable snowman. Like, why, why, why am I abominable? Why can't they call me, like, the adorable snowman or the greeting snowman, you know? Um, man, Mike is still mad at him, and, 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 it, um, uh, Sullivan heard that the snowman said there was, like, a t- the village down, down the slope. Um, he takes a may- uh, makeshift ski, you know, and, and he, he passes also because um, as he takes his ski down uh, the the sled down the slope, he they pass the bottle and like, hey, I got more snow cones because uh, he said he was going to make more because Mike was throwing the other snow cones at him, at, at Sullivan. Um, so he gets to the village, goes to the door, it goes to one of the doors back to the factory. Um, he 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 bumps into one of the co the the, the coworker George who got who had his fur shaved off, and he and he is so cold co-worker friend sees tries to rat him out again because earlier when the locker room more of the, the, the toys that sell the stuff got on him he calls 23 something you know and the contamination goo jumps on him again so he's about to say it again while George, well, George just grabs him and stuffs the sock in his mouth and throws him into the room and just walks away happily whistling <laughs> so he goes back to that sugar room um he wrecks the, he he wrecks the machine, saves uh, Boo, but um, um, Randall, you know, camouflaged himself to be invisible. Is uh, starts punching, hitting, assaulting. Um, Mike comes back, throws a snowball at him, you know, thinking, you know, he's straight, 
trying he's trying he's trying to apologize trying to apologize to someone but not paying attention to that he's being attacked and he's he's about to get about to get strangled death while um Mike, you know, pay attention. All you can do is pay attention. He throws a, another snowball and it hits Randall, revealing himself, and 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 so it punches him, and punches him out. <laughs> so they run out there. They run back to the screen floor, get the get the get the door, you know, and um, Mike gets tackled by his girlfriend, you know, who's wearing wearing a, a neck brace, and so all of her uh, all of her, her snake hair is all wearing braces too, you know, um. But uh, 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 Mike tells him that she said that he still loves her, and he sees that um, Randall is chasing after them. She creates like a diversion raw, thinking that Randall broke the record to give him time, get a storm, and give him time to escape. Then they get on top of the door and they head back into the the door the, the door vault room, which which I thought was like uh, once you see the first the, the the door vault, you know that was like one of the best looking scenes in the entire film. Like you see this picture here. Um where where they went when, when you turn you get the you get you get that view get that get that uh view shot that view shot of the entire room. Yeah. So they're seeing all so they, like just millions of doors. Millions and millions of doors from the children to the outs from the the outside world. They you know they get on the runs, you know, with boost door. Um, goes this way and they go another direction. Um, Mike uh, gets to 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 boo laugh because her laugh activates all lights up all the doors, you know. So they go from one door to another. Like first door they go to is like on Hawaii, and then goes to another door in Japan, and and then France. Um. Randall takes the takes it takes Boo and it drops the drops the mic us all when they're hanging onto the door so they open the door before they get in before it hits the ground and breaks. Um so they jump into more doors and and um he jumps into the room where where Boo is at but he gets almost get pushed out the door and Randall's like, Look at everybody's favorite scare now, you stupid, pathetic waste. But the uh, Boo shows that she's he yeah, she's not afraid of him anymore. Starts pulling on his head and he's pulling on it. He's sees changing different um, patterns and beats him with a, with a plastic baseball bat. As he as he as he hits her more, he changes more patterns. <laughs> but then he gets but then someone grabs him. Looks like you're out of a job. He throws him to another door that's in like in um. I think it was like uh because I think it was like Louisiana or New Orleans I think. Because, like, because, this is this trailer, he's putting this trailer phone where a kid says, Ma, another gator got in the door. He's like, another gator? Give me that shovel. Starts hitting him with a shovel multiple times. <laughs> I was like, another gator? Give me that shovel. I like that line. <laughs> Give me that shovel. <laughs> Starts beating him repeatedly with it. So then he knocks out the light. Then, oh, he's trapped there forever. Um, throws the door over and breaks. So they like, they get they get to her door they get to her door and um try to get to her laugh though but um um but the doll all the lights are off so but they can't so but they're they begin to pull back into the screen floor with warriors and the contamination team there. Um Mike comes out Mike comes out uh with the with a with holding the cost um thing in the that they're holding he's the only kid, but it's just an empty costume. He throws a sock at one of the guys, and he'll pile up on that guy, and he starts running off, and they'll chase after him, but um, Sullivan and Boo run the other way. But Waranu sees them, chases after them, and they're like, Sullivan! Sullivan! Give me the child! You know? Um, he, 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 he um, locks the door with bends a pipe to hold the doors closed. They get, he puts the door in and gets into the room. But um, think they go, oh, okay, you're boo, you're safe now. But he's, but then he gets in the um, side of the room. Um, tells you know she's going to leave her alone. But he says, no, nope, times have changed. Scaring is not enough. And and then he says, I'll kidnap a thousand children. I'll I'll kidnap a thousand children before I let this company die. And I'll silence anyone who gets in my way. <clears throat> Punches Sullivan. Goes for the child, but it's it's actually uh, the um. 
the dummy, you know, where they use to a, de a demonstration, the demonstration room where they demonstrate the scare, their, their own test, their scares, you know. And yeah, and then he gets caught, and then Mike is with the kid's family. She's like, you know what? I, saw, I spotted several big mistakes. Let's watch my favorite part again, shall we? And he keeps reminding the part where he says, I'll kidnap a thousand children. So they, he gets arrested, you know. I hope I hope you're happy, Sullivan. You destroy this company. Monsters Incorporated is dead. Where will anyone get their scream now? The Antichrist will only get worse because of you. <laughs> so then, the, then the lead, the leader of of the of the contamination team wants to talk to them. And it's Ross, you know, the, you know, two years of undercover work were almost wasted. You know, they haven't given that child. You know, um. So Sullivan wants to send her home, but Ross. Roz um, orders the door to her, so they're going to have to destroy the door, so none of this has never happened. So Mike says his goodbye, and Sullivan gets put, puts her into a room, and he starts giving her toys, which you see um, two toys. You see uh, from, from Toy Story, the, 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 the ball with the red star on it, and he hands her, gives her that, gives him that, and he also, she also gives her, um, oh, um, Oh, what was that? Oh, what the in Toy Story with the the female cowgirl toy? Oh, I know her name. It just ah. Jesse. That's that was that was that was the name. That was that was that was her name. Yeah, Boo. He has gives a uh, uh, the uh, Jesse toy from Toy Story to Sullivan. You know, as you see, you see the you see the ball and Jesse there. Um, but then he tucks her in, you know, tells him that, you know, you need to be scared, you know, no, no need to be scared anymore what's in the closet now. So as he closes the door, but then she opens the door and, j and it's just the closet now and says, Kitty. So the door gets destroyed. So now, um, so the people are like, oh no, a lot of people are going to get out of work, but Mike says, you know, a lot of people are going to be out of work, but hey, at least we got, we got some laughs out of it. And that gives, um, um, Sullivan, the idea instead of using instead of using screams, making kids afraid, make them laugh. You know, because laugh is much more powerful than screams. You know, it's much more stronger than screams. So Mike is now going to be doing is not going to is going to be doing uh, Sullivan's job now. So he goes to see this kid. You know, like doing like a comedy act. You know, you know, standing and sitting on the stool, doing it with a microphone. So he skips the, skips the jokes, just goes and swallows the microphone and bursts it out and makes the kid laugh. Hey, you know, good night, good night, and make sure you tip your waitress, you know. And 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 now Sullivan is, has now taken over the the business. Now he's now in charge of, of Monsters Inc. Now. Um. And all and all the other all the other um, employees are are really happy about this one, you know, it's like using a one monster using uh, chattering teeth and uh, one monster using uh, j jacks with a soccer ball. Yeah, but um, um, but uh, um, uh, he's but he's looking back because on his clipboard he has there he still has a little piece a little piece of the of a chip of the door that was destroyed keeps it keeps him with him. But uh, Mike has a, Mike um, has a, has a surprise for for Sullivan. So when he opens his eyes, Mike has re has rebuilt Boo's door. And it only works if it only works if you have every piece. So he sticks his his last piece in there, and the door lights up. And which I thought was was a, was a really one of the one of, I thought this I thought the ending was too was was really sweet because you know I say that because as soon as he um as, as soon as he, as soon as he opens the door he says boo and then he and he hears boo say kitty and then he smiles happily. Uh, because I thought that thing was, was was really sweet because you know after seeing Boo for for you know going for so a while and he's really happy and really happy that he sees her again you know that's why he, he smiles happily and then at the, and then and the film ends you know you hear um John Goodman start singing a song you know if I were a rich man with a million or two da -da -da, you know so John so yeah so John John Goodman he was really he was really great as as Sullivan. Um, Billy Crystal, really great as 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 uh, Wazowski, Mike. Other cast members did really did really good. 
uh, James Coburn, you know, this was released, released, released 2001 before he passed away in 2002. Um, he, he was good as, as Water Noose. Steve Rashimi, uh, um, he, was, he was really good as um, Randall. Um, and then, and then for, for a show while, for, for a long time I've been, I've been waiting, me and my brother were looking forward to a sequel to this. But then, and when we first heard the, the name Monsters University, I thought that would be a sequel to it, though, but it turns out it's a prequel. No, uh, that's like, uh, uh, and I was like, oh darn! I thought there, I thought that, I thought that was a sequel, but it's a prequel. And like I said, I'm not the biggest fan. I'm the biggest. I'm not the biggest fan of prequels, but well, live action prequels, so. But anim, but animated prequels, I'm fine with, because I, I I I tell myself all this all the time. Animated films are much more different than are they? They're more or less likely to screw up more than live action films. Live action films with either sequels or prequels, they screw up the most. But but with animated films, whether it's Disney or DreamWorks or 20th Century, um, 20th Century Fox animated films, it's I'm I'm, I'm perfectly fine with because I saw Monster University and I really did enjoy it. But I still like the first one, movie better though. But I still but I still enjoy um, Monster University. Cause I I don't have it on DVD, but I will like to get that when I, when I have the time. Um, and I saw I saw Monster, so I saw Monster University. John Goodman, and Billy Crystal, they still do a good job in in Monster University. They still do a really good job even after twelve years since the release of this film. Um, but they still do a good job in, in Monster University. Uh. And it, it, it did made it did made it made more money than Monsters Monsters Inc. The first made more money than the first film because because it's been 12 years since the, this was released, you know. So people were like when people were like been waiting for another for another sequel to this, you know. But it was a prequel though. But people really wanted to see Monster University, you know. I don't believe they, they just didn't care whether it's a prequel because they're just excited to see these two characters again. It's been yeah, you know. It's been honestly yeah, you know. This is how this is how they met, you know. This is how they're going through in the in in uni college university, you know. Before they were best friends, they were rivals, you know. And it and of course of course typical with prequels, you know how it ends, you know. They end up being best best friends, and they end up working at Monsters Inc. So yeah, I enjoy Monster University, but I, I but I still enjoy the first movie better. Still, this is because I enjoy this first one. The first one better doesn't mean I dislike the sequel. I don't dislike the sequel. I do enjoy the sequel. The sequel, the prequel. Uh, so yeah, I don't have anything else to say. So, so yeah, that's Monster University. I uh, put this on. Uh, it is without doubt on my top list of of my Disney films. Whether it's pi whether it's Pixar, I'm just saying Disney in general. My top Disney films. So, so yeah. So that's Monsters. That's Monsters Inc. Monsters Incorporated. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for another movie review later.